Hi everyone! Since 2021, I've been using Bricklink Studio 2.0 to create and design my LEGO mocks. While it may be a bit more challenging to get the hang of it compared to LEGO Digital Designer, it comes packed with an impressive set of features and tools that are essential when you're crafting your own LEGO masterpieces. Today, I'll be sharing five vital tools in Bricklink Studio that I personally use and you should definitely know about when crafting your LEGO mocks. First up, we have colors. Unless you're sticking to the classic LEGO brick shades of red, blue, and yellow, you'll want to make sure that your chosen pieces come in the colors you need for your mock. Let's say in Maersk blue, dark pink, or olive green. This can also become an issue when you're importing files from LEGO Digital Designer, LDRAW, or other LEGO designing software. If you encounter a piece that doesn't exist in your preferred color, Bricklink Studio will display a warning in the Color Validator tab on the right side of your screen. It will show you the colors that don't exist for the selected pieces and suggest alternative colors. To prevent this while building your LEGO mock, just tick the Hide Unavailable Colors option in the Color tab on your inventory sidebar. Give the software a moment to update the database, and you'll have access to all available pieces in your desired color. If your piece still isn't available in the color you want to use, you might need to tweak your design or explore other creative techniques, like breaking down larger bricks into groups of smaller ones. Additionally, you can hide unavailable colors in the Color Palette menu in the top right corner of your screen. This handy option also allows you to see the most cost-effective color for the selected brick, which brings us to our next feature, price calculation. Before you share your LEGO mock on platforms such as Rebrickable, it's crucial to check how much it would cost for others to build it. My rule of thumb is to aim for a build cost between $10 and $30 for mocks with fewer than 200 pieces and up to $50 for mocks exceeding that piece count. Keep in mind, not everyone has a vast collection of LEGO bricks at their disposal, and some parts can get quite pricey. For instance, part number 2399 in Maersk Blue might look cool, but it could set you back $17 on the Bricklink Marketplace. So, unless you're absolutely set on using that particular piece, consider alternatives or different building techniques to make your LEGO mock more budget-friendly for fellow builders. You can also see the total cost of building your LEGO mock by going to Model in the top menu bar, then Model Info. Now, on to stability. Unless your mock is intentionally designed to be unstable, it's vital to ensure it can stand up to the challenge. You can assess stability by clicking on the stability icon in the main menu bar. This tool is a bit of an experimental feature and is continuously improved by the Bricklink team. It provides you with valuable information about the strong and weak points that your LEGO mock might have. The tool uses a color code with pink indicating minor issues and red or dark red signaling higher instability risks. Occasionally, the tool might highlight areas where you might have used illegal techniques that may not necessarily lead to instability. If you're confident with your technique, you can simply ignore this warning as long as your pieces are well connected. Connectivity is an indispensable tool, whether you're crafting a digital LEGO mock from scratch or replicating a real-life model. You'll find this tool in the same toolbar as the stability check. Click on it, and your entire model will appear either entirely white or with patches of pink. White means you have a well-connected structure with no connectivity issues, while pink reveals disconnected parts. Identify and rectify these areas. Give your creation one last check, and you're good to go. Before you're ready to render your model or create building instructions, it's essential to perform one last check using the Model Information feature. In the top menu bar, navigate to the Model tab and then select Model Info. A small window will appear with various details listed under the Parts List tab. This is where you'll discover crucial information about the components used in your LEGO mocks, such as the price per part, the total cost for multiple parts, the overall piece count, and the total cost of your LEGO mock. Under the Physical Information tab, you'll find information about the dimensions of your LEGO mock and an estimation of its weight. Depending on your specific requirements, the Model Information window can be a valuable resource of information of your LEGO mock. It can be the key to making some final adjustments before you export your design and share it with the world. Make sure not to skip this important step in the creative process. So there you have it. 
five essential features you must know how to use in BrickLink Studio 2.0. With these tools at your disposal, you'll be crafting stronger, more cost-effective, and fun LEGO mocks with ease. Do you use BrickLink Studio for your LEGO mocks? Share your experience and any additional tips in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Bobby Bricks channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.